What is a segregated account? My name is Darius. And I'm Carmen. And we're the founders of Wealth Nation. This channel is dedicated to showing you how to own your own lifestyle through a concept called infinite banking. Mm -hmm. We answer questions and show you different techniques on how to grow and manage your personal banking system. Mm -hmm. But before we go any further, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every single time we come out with a brand new video just like this one answering your questions about infinite banking yes so what is a segregated account we make this super simple for you it sounds really fancy but it's not <laughs> it's just a separate checkings account at your current banking institution mm -hmm. so let's say you work you bank at wells fargo in order to do infinite banking we just say open up a separate checking account that's separate from your current expense account or your current savings account and the reason being is because as you start working your banking system we just want to segment the activity in one account mm -hmm. where it's not being commingled with any of your current expenses and it just makes it easier to track when it comes time to taxes and just try and understand what's going on with in your banking system so again what is a segregated account it's literally just a separate checking account at your bank because simply when you borrow money from the insurance company the matter of fact the insurance company is not a bank so you don't have a debit card or, or a, a bank card to access that money at will yeah but what we do to help offset in that, that to yeah. offset that mm -hmm. is you create a separate checking account called your segregated account so that as the funds that you recapture back to yourself, you can reuse those funds to pay off other expenses without having to go back to the insurance company. Yeah, yeah, very, so, very good point. Yeah. Yeah, because we get, uh, a lot of times people are like, well, what about the liquidity? It's, if it takes five business days for me to get my loan, you know, that's a lot of time if, if an emergency happens. Mm -hmm. So again, just to overcome that, we just have you open up a separate checking account, request the loan and the money is there in your bank so if you need it you're able to pull from it immediately and if you don't need it then you just pay it back it mm -hmm. just gives you flexibility so that you have that liquidity and immediate access um, right at your fingertips yes we say all the time money has to stay in motion mm -hmm. what your segregated account allows you to do is always have access to that money so that you can utilize it in other things that you can recapture back to yourself mm -hmm. and when I say recapture I mean you pay off something and you, but you, well, you borrow from yourself and you pay it back with principal and interest. Mm -hmm. You can do that as many times as you need to based on your specific situation. Exactly. And that's what a segregated account allows you to do. Yeah, because if you're trying to pay back the loan and request um, loans from the insurance company, sometimes the, the documentation can be a little nuts mm -hmm. just because you have to create documentation to pay back the loans, you have to create documentation to request the loans. So once you have the loan and you use it to pay off debt or pay off whatever expenses you're trying to um, pay down, then we just say take those payments and put it in your segregated account. And when it's time for you to pay back the loan in a lump sum form, you already have that money in your segregated account and you just write one check to the insurance company. Um, but really, this is your banking system, so you can set it up however you want. Mm -hmm. If you want to pay the insurance company back every month, then do it. Mm -hmm. Us, we like the flexibility of just being able to say, oh, we're not going to pay them back right now. We'll pay them back once we have all of the money. And the segregated account is that holding spot or that piggy bank, whatever you want to call it, for us to manage our banking system. Here's an example where you would pay the money back to the insurance company. Let's say you had an emergency where the transmission in your car went out you borrow the money from the insurance company to uh, pay for this emergency. You pay it back on a monthly basis back to the insurance company because you won't need it for a long time. You're just using it for this specific situation. Now, the reason why we have a segregated account is because we use our insurance policies for, or our segregated account for a variety of different things. We use it for our rent, we use it for dining, we use it for credit cards everything that we would borrow from somebody else or from a third party institution we use our loans from our insurance policy to mitigate those things to offset those 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, so with the transmission scenario, it's just about if you get a loan from the insurance company, you determine what the terms are in which you pay back to the insurance company. Right. They're not going to say, oh, you have to pay this back within a year or 24 months at this percent interest, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. You just look at your income and say, okay, can I afford $100 a month to be paid towards the insurance company? Can I afford $200 a month? It's a conversation that you have amongst yourself. Mm -hmm. And uh, that makes it super simple because now you don't have this crazy debt hanging over your head. You have the flexibility of being able to pay it back on your own terms. Right. Yeah. And then the thing with the segregate account, like Darius said, we treat it like a credit card kind of thing because we're constantly having money in motion. We know how to utilize our, our loans and we're using our loans for everything. So mm -hmm. we just like to have that money available because like Daria said, we can go into our Segre account, charge it for uh, eating out, and we just know from our income, we pay that money back to ourselves. With so, interest. With interest. <laughs> so now we have that money back that it cost us to eat out plus interest. Mm -hmm. So we're getting to the point where we are trying to um, recap capture or get back fancy word for get back every single dollar that we spent mm -hmm. and it's gonna it's a process it's gonna take us a little bit of time to do so but we want to be able to have every single dollar back in our hands that we spend and uh, on our next video we'll show you how we did that with our rent and we'll just continue to show you different examples of how we just use our loans to continue to fin finance our lifestyle the same way our credit cards were doing so but if anything, we're getting all that money back and we're not paying back to the credit card company. Mm -hmm. So definitely make sure you comment on this video if you have any questions about what we said and always feel free to email and give us a call. Yes, yeah. All right, so um, what do we need to do? Subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the notifications bell and like this video. And also follow us on Facebook and Instagram at wealthnation.io. Own your own lifestyle? Or someone else will. <laughs>